All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Real Talk Podcast. I'm your host Jordan Match. With me, we got Goated at all as always. Yes, sir. So, and we're back. Um, we took a a two week break. Yeah, uh, it just kind of yeah. it just kind of happened. But for we're real, still going real. with we're still gonna go with the idea uh, that we had a couple weeks ago to just kind of talk. Take a break. This yeah, and that little that little break was kind of nice too. I had yeah, the week bro. off. Then the last week was crazy, and, you know. So yeah, bro. But we here, bro. We just now we're just gonna switch it up and just talk about it, whatever. Yeah, um, and stay yeah. tuned for next weekend. Next weekend's podcast is gonna be Halloween, so we can talk about some some freaky shit. Hell yeah! So stay tuned for that one. And if y'all haven't followed us on Instagram, uh, make sure to do that there. Uh, we're that super close. To reserve. To yeah, and I go to his reserve too. You're close to ten point five right now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm on and off hitting it. Like I hit it a couple of times. Oh, okay. Like, oh, yeah. And but, then um, we're close to hitting hundred subscribers on YouTube. So um, if y'all yeah, haven't, haven't subbed yet, fifty percent of y'all haven't subbed. So what are y'all doing? <laughs> like, come on. I swear, bro. You got <laughs> just because you view the video. Yeah, it's not enough. Like, it's a, it's. I'm grateful for the views and stuff, but like the support of mm-hmm. just liking and you know subscribing you know we're dropping a lot of visualizers right now too um i just made this one um for this artist named acker i was high as fuck at 4 a.m i didn't really like that wasn't the plan to make <sighs> that shit and i was just like damn i want to make some really visual shit because that song is like if you've heard it you'll understand so uh-huh. it's just on another level so i was like damn i need to make some visuals to match that shit and and i was sleep deprived and i got that shit done now and it was it's fire it's fire i think it's fire hell yeah i don't know if, i don't know if you've seen it you should maybe smoke a blunt though and see it i might maybe, check it out just send me the link yeah it's the first video on the youtube channel All i don't right, upload bro. anything since so it, it's it's got some visuals too so i i recommend you being a little bit high for it a little bit say less i got you bro and i heard you just dropped a song too bro you know what's funny? Um, what? Like I just dropped that song last night, like right at like two in the morning, and that song is pretty old. That's what I thought. I thought it was pretty old. Um, cause didn't Jordan Anthony mix it with you? Yeah, I, I, I made it a minute ago. I even made yeah. the song. Mm-hmm. It, it's yeah. a good song. If if y'all haven't checked it out, I recommend y'all do. Um. Thank you. You haven't dropped for a minute too, so Yeah. People are telling you to redraw moon. Are you gonna do it? Bro, I put it on arch I archived it, but then I deleted it, so I can't even put it up. Again. Oh, you do de- you deleted it now? <laughs> Why, bro? Uh I just feel like it could have been better. People was fucking with that one. I see a lot of, a lot of comments that are like, yo, bring moon back. Yeah, bro, I could I could make way better music, bro. Would you like, make like an updated version? Yeah, probably. Because I feel like I just recorded that on my phone, bro. You know. And I, nah, I know, understand. I just didn't like the way it was sounding, but I'm gonna make some new shit. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie. This one feature, um, it's an LTD song. It's an LTD song with um, with uh my my friend Sriracha Sugar. Yeah. And um. I made that shit on my phone. I'm not gonna cap. I made that shit on my phone. Yeah. It's it's a decent verse. I I kind of figured out how to mix a little bit. I'm not gonna say I'm the best, but I'm not gonna say I'm the worst. Yeah. Like I know what to do with my voice, so I I got my presets and shit. So if I gotta switch it up, I can switch it up. But yeah, for sure. For that, um, yeah, I'm just I'm excited. I want to drop more ltd music but i also want to draw more personal music too but i don't yeah. know what the fuck to do like i have no idea i would just keep dropping music bro and just just drop it and just i mean i have it. shit i have shit in the vault but then like i'd be freestyling all the time like every single day like i'll i'll end up listening to beats or even just freestyling like acapella type shit sometimes and like i'm not the best so i'm not gonna like really say that shit out loud but like sometimes I like I'll mutter, or I like I'll, I'll say a little bit of bars, and then like I'll I'm usually go for the rhythm because when I once I find the rhythm, like the bars will come later. Yeah. 
And I was spitting this fire shit last night. And I really want to write it. Because, like, I got... Oh, man. It's it's a good topic, too. Like, the whole, the whole song idea is, like, what the fuck was I doing? Like, I moved here, right? I moved yeah. here to Michigan. And, like, I don't know. Like, the whole first year I got here... It was really like a blur to me. So much shit happened and so much shit didn't happen. Like, I don't know. It's not like a time in my life I'd like to remember. I also really yeah. can't remember it a lot too. But I want to make a song about it. And I think I, 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 I freestyled this fire bar for it. Like, I got the title of it. And I think the title it goes crazy. And I already like oh, yeah. the hook. So, let's, let's see if I do it. <laughs> let's see if I actually do it though. Shit, bro, gotta follow through, bro. I just, my philosophy at this point is just drop some shit, and if it does good, people are gonna fuck with it, bro. You know, if it if it's good to people, people are gonna fuck with it. Like, too many people worried about who's not gonna fuck with it, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, self like subconsciously, bro. Like, I be thinking, like, damn, I need this shit to blow up. But like, honestly, I just drop the shit now. If it does good, bro, like fuck it. If it doesn't, fuck it. What do I? You're not losing shit. SoundCloud is free. <laughs> really not. Yeah, you like can upload, you can upload music to SoundCloud. You're not losing money. Like that's not really good. like, like that's not really like my issue. Like I, it really comes down to time, like time management. Well, yeah, like, bro. Damn, like I, I would love to make a song, but like, damn, I got like other shit to do. I got LTD shit to do. So like. Maybe maybe I'll make like a solo song here and there, but yeah, for the time being, I don't really know if I have all that time to do it. Cause like I get tired, bro. Like this LTD shit, and I be working too. So like I I I be tired as hell. So some days I won't want to really do some shit. Some days I will, but um, I don't know. The music just kind of adds on to it sometimes. And, like, yeah. Cause like I'm. I'm already doing so much for other people's music. That's why I'm like, okay, maybe maybe I can just like chill for a little bit. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to drop anything. But if I do, I'm going to really take my time at it. I'm really going to make sure it's done right. But who knows? Who knows if I have anything planned to drop anytime soon. Yeah, I feel you, bro. What about you? Are you going to like start consistently dropping? I'm gonna start dropping, bro. I just gotta start making my music shit. Like, honestly, like that's the only thing that's keeping me from dropping. I just gotta make more music. But I don't know what to make. I'm like kind of teeter tottering between sounds right now. Like, I have ideas, but I don't know what I want to do first. Like, I don't know what I want to. Cause I'm rusty too. I haven't made a song in a minute, so I don't know what I like what I want to start back up with. Yeah, so who, knows? Me, bro. who knows. Like, I like my boom bap type of shit. I like to be slow, like, slow with it. But I also like some, like, some funk. Like, some Suicide Boys type of, like, that grunge. I like that grunge, too. And yeah. I, I, I have written for a lot of shit. But I don't, damn. I, too much shit on my plate, bro. I need an assistant. I need an assistant. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Lie. If I really start like editing music videos and shit too, I'm gonna be making more money. So it'll be, I'll really have to decide what I want to do. Will I want to like start making more music again, or if I want to like really get into this like editing type of type of shit? So who knows? Who really knows what the fuck's gonna happen? Um, I don't really want to make like a ton of. Like, just have me as, like, a feature, too. Or just, like, have, like, a ton of features on my songs. Yeah. And shit, sometimes I get lazy, and I want to finish songs. I'll be thinking, dang, maybe I can get someone on this shit. I got to stop doing that. Like, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. That's a problem for me. I got too many people at my disposal to where, like, I could hit up anyone. I could, so there's so many people I, people I could hit up for a song right now. There's so many people. But I'm like, nah, I, I need to do this on my own. Yeah. Let's um let's let's go on to the next subject. What the fuck are you trying to uh, talk about, bro? I met Zodiac today, bro. 
Um, so for people, um, listeners, this is Zodiac from from Minnesota. Let's just let's just be clear about that. Yeah. There's, there's two Zodiacs. There's two Zodiacs in my mind. There's Zodiac from um, I think he's from Vegas. I don't know if you mm-hmm. know who I'm talking about. Um, but no. I'm gonna send you his music after. But um, that's that's kind of who I think of for Zodiac. But I know of this other Zodiac too. I've known about him since 2017. But um, you can continue the yeah. story. Go on, go on with it. Yeah, bro. Zodiac. I started listening to this nigga like my junior year, and so like I heard a song that he made, bro. It was called like, how, I think. Oh, how it is? It's called like Wade. How it is or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or what it is? I think it's yeah. what it is, bro. Mm-hmm. I heard that shit, bro, and I could not stop playing that shit, bro. And so then I seen, and so I was, bro, I was fucking watching that nigga's interviews and shit. He had an interview with Water Wave in like 2019 or some shit. Yeah. And he went shopping. Or it was like, it was, bro, bro it was when, before Water Wave really blew up, bro. Mm-hmm. They, didn't, they, they haven't blown up, but they're doing really good right now. You know what I mean? They are. Doing, Shout out Water Wave. Yeah, Shout out Water Wave, bro. So, but he had like a little like interview and they went shopping at Urban Jungle, bro. And it oh, was him and Zodiac. And Zodiac was like a, I think he was like a freshman or like a sophomore, bro. But he yeah, was he's, younger, he's, bro. Yeah, I think he's younger than yeah. He's younger than me. I don't know if he's at the time he was, but that was like I think like 2019. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, no, no. It, was, it definitely was not 2019 because he's older than me. It was probably like, tw- bro. It was probably like, like 20. I don't know, bro. It, that doesn't even matter. But he, yeah, they were doing that, bro. They were shopping and shit, and I was mm-hmm. just watching all his interviews. And then he had another interview on Water Wave, and this nigga was high as fuck, bro. Like. <laughs> The whole interview nigga was high as hell, bro. If you go to it, if it's still up, this nigga was so high, bro. And like, <laughs> I remember that shit. And so I just started listening to him more, bro. And like, that nigga just evolved, bro. Like, this nigga is hard. Like, he has his whole own style, bro. There's not too many niggas in um, Minnesota that really like have their own, like, you know, like I don't know, sound that doesn't sound like yeah. nobody. Mm-hmm. Along with my brother, bro. Brother, nobody sound like Jordan at all here. Yeah. No, that's for real. That's for real. Um. His mix is really unique. I, yeah. I find the I've come to realize that that it's really you'll know it's that he's on the song. You'll know. You'll know it's him. For real. So yeah, shout out Jordan. I but yeah, so like Yeah, bro. And so that's why I can tell like that nigga's going crazy right now, bro. Cause um he's tapped in with like niggas that I listen to. This nigga named Dom Corleo, bro. That nigga oh, is like he's, he's tapped in, in the underground. He's up next too, bro. Like, like it's like the, it's like the niggas that are like are kind of like the same type of music, like summers, autumn, mm-hmm. and like uh. But yeah, bro. So I started. That's when I started really listening to plug music, plugging plug B to be exact. Like, plug music is good. Plug music, like a lot of people don't know the difference, bro. Is plug and plug and B. Plug music is like the trap, more more trap. And it's more like hard, like. Like not hip hop, it's it's kind of hip hop, you know. It's like, like what was that one song? Gas the shorty, said you know that song. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that's like that's like plug music, you know. Mm-hmm. Like old Playboy Cardi, like Adi, being like that, not, that you know what I mean. Like, that's plug music, but plug yeah. MB is like that. It's like the same type of like, mm-hmm. like uh. I, I guess you said like, you could say 808 or beat. I don't know. I don't know how beats like work. The synth, like, like the synths and shit like that. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's the same like, and you can hear the the similarities, but then but it's more like melodic. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's it's more like it's just more. Like, I don't know. They just, they sing more, and that's the shit that like is like it's. I don't know, bro. That that shit is cold to me. I listen to all that shit. So yeah, bro. But back to Zodiac. Uh, I went to the mall today, bro. This is just today. Like, the day we're recording this, this is crazy as hell. The day we're recording this shit, I went to the mall. And uh, mm-hmm. I'm going there. I just went there because, like, by the time this is out, like, it's already going to be past. But my brother's birthday, I went to the mall to get him a gift, right? Yeah. And Jordan, don't say nothing. <laughs> but, but I know you won't say nothing. But, like, I'm trying to keep it a surprise. You know what, you know what, the, you know what yeah. I'm trying to do, bro. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, uh, I went to the mall today, bro. And I'm going to go to Nordstrom's. To get the gift, bro, and I see this nigga, bro, kind of like my height, and this nigga had like white dreads, and bro, he just—he didn't look like nobody, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like nigga looked like 
And so I didn't, I couldn't see what he looked like, like behind because like, he was turned around. But he yeah. turned around, bro, and I knew exactly who it was right away, like right away, bro. I knew. And so yeah, like, I, was I was just, you know, and I was finna like I was gonna take out my phone, bro, like be a little like fanboy, but I was like, nah, like I was, might as well just go up, and be like, yo, are you Zodiac, bro? And that's what I did, bro. I was I was hella respectful, you know, because like for one, he he was working, you know, and for two, I don't know if he would, I don't know, you're gonna see. I don't know. You're gonna work. See him work there anyway. So like me saying anything doesn't really do anything. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, bro. So um, that nigga he was working, bro. And I just was just like, let me be cool because you know, like I don't want to be all like weird when a nigga working too. Because like if if I was working and somebody was like, yo, you know, I'd be like, bro, you know. So like yeah. and like you know, I'm just I'd rather just be respectful, bro. Honestly, like that's mm-hmm. the way to go. So I was just like, yo, bro, are you Zodiac? And he was just like, yeah. And I was like, I, I just told him, I was like, I listened to all your music, bro, and all that shit. And so like that, that was it, bro. And then, oh, uh, yeah. And then he, after I paid for my shit, he was like, yo, bro, like slide to, to my show. On the, he has a show on the 5th of November at oh, Underground great. Music Cafe. And I, I'm low-key thinking of going, bro. I want to go. You should. I should slide, bro. But yeah, so that was just cool as fuck, bro. Because like, when I'm telling you, bro, like, I'm not even being no fanboy. This dude just, like, I know this dude, like, cloud type shit. Like, I was really listening to this nigga just genuinely, you know, and just to meet him, it's pretty chill. I'm dead ass. I found out about this motherfucker in 2017. Like, 2017. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, like, 2017, maybe early 2018. It was really early on, though. And that that was before he found that sound. Like, he, there was this other song that I really don't remember. I don't even know if it's up anymore. But it was more of like a grungier type of type of harder song. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's that's fire. So that's how I found out about him. And then like shit happened. So he kinda like the whole water wave shit um kinda took off after I moved here. I really didn't yeah. get to experience the the latter half, which is kinda sad. I wish I didn't. Yeah, bro, it's just crazy, bro. Just how people just stay true to what they want, and that shit comes to you, bro. Like that shit really comes to you. I think Minnesota's evolving. I think it really is. Like, there's so many artists getting put on or getting millions of views lately that it's crazy. It's I'm proud. Definitely, bro. Like a little shine, going crazy. Well, just i just posted about this one artist damn i can't remember his name but uh he just hit a mill on one of his songs and he's in la now but he's from minnesota still i'm trying to go to texas bro texas, texas is, is cool but i don't know if i i want to like would would live there type shit i would live there that's where i'm that's where i really live but i can't care like texas some about texas bro it is so just elegant, like the certain places of it, the houses, bro, and just the vibe and the food. It's oh, so I bet like man. like the vibe down there is is pretty nice and shit. Politically, that's a whole different. Politically, story. nah. Politically, that's a different story. Like abortion, like they just that whole abortion shit. They're trying to like deny that shit pretty much, which is fucked. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with I don't, that. I don't, bro. I, don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't agree with that at all. Like that. It's so stupid. But. I don't fuck with that. See, like, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know about all that shit, you know? See, when you put it in that way, it's like, damn. That's why I'm like, I don't know if I want to go, you know what I mean? But it's just like, outside of that, bro, Texas is good, but like, if you put it in politically, and that's what I hate to do, bro, because like, you that's know. That's what I'm saying, like, like, Texas is a nice place, but if you're trying to put it politically, it's a different story. Yeah. So, yeah, bro. It, it just depends, bro. I, We've had conversations before. I'm like, damn, I want to move to Washington, like Washington State. I don't know why. It's just a beautiful state. I've never been there, so I don't have no proof. But I don't know. Yeah. Something about that place just just makes me want to go there. Cause like the heat is cool, but I don't want to like be dipping into like over a hundred degree weather. Like fuck that. Yeah. And I hate snow. I hate snow, but I'm betting that 
if I leave snow for too long, I'm going to want a glimpse of it again. Just to go back to the vibe. So, I don't know. Maybe somewhere like, like temperate would be nice. Nice and chill. Like poor. Yeah, I feel you, bro. For now, it gives me the sort of the vibes. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just chilling in the middle of but fuck nowhere. Not really, but kind of. I don't really know if I've like kind of described a whole lot of where I live. I'm going to try to be really general in explaining this in the podcast because I'm really trying to not dox myself. Hell yeah. <laughs> but like, there's no nightlife here whatsoever. Nothing. Also, I didn't have a whip for a while before I moved here. And there's no public transport. But like I was saying, it's super fucking flat. Super flat. And I used to ride my longboard. Get up DJ taught me how to ride a longboard. But I, like when I first met him, I don't know if it was like when I first met him, but it was a little bit after. Yeah. So I just I just didn't maybe like you and me back in the day, one time we're like, yo, let's ride skateboards. Cause I kinda remember us doing that. But um, Yeah, we did that. It was about your yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. I remember that shit. So I remember that, but that was actual skateboard. That was actual skateboard. But um Yeah. So DJ was like, yo, um, I have two long boards. I don't know. Maybe he had two. He had one or two at the time. Um, and he was just like, let me teach you how to ride. And uh, pause. <laughs> pause. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Hell, no. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me teach you how to skate. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> so... So he had this longboard, and it was really low to the ground. It was really low to the ground, and it was really wop- like really wobbly. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> I had to. I had to. I had to. I caught myself, bro. I had to. <laughs> bro, that's the funniest shit I've heard all day, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I swear to God, that longboard is like the first bike I rode. Like it was really low to the ground. So it was kind of easy for me to ride. It was easy to like learn how to do that shit. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. No, fuck that. We're still going. We're still going. <laughs> I was talking about a longboard. There's context. There's context. <laughs> There's context, bro. bro. I can't. I can't pause again. There's context. All right. All right. <laughs> Let going. me keep on going. Let me keep on going. <laughs> but I, I figured it out on that shit. It was really low to the ground. I don't know mm-hmm. if you've ever like. I'm not even skated before. I'm trying to dance around this shit now, bro. I don't know if you've ever done that shit on a longboard. Have you? Have you ever like, like, tried? Like try to do a trick or what? What do you mean? Nah, just like just just went somewhere. I use this shit for transportation. Oh. Yeah, I can't try. I've done it once, bro. I use a longboard. A longboard is easier, but what, a skateboard? No, bro. Yeah, yeah. Skateboard's more for tricks. So if you're trying to like do yeah. some tricks and shit, then yeah, use a skateboard. But um, there's there, there's like a mix too, um, between a longboard and a skateboard. I forgot what the fuck it's called. Mm-hmm. It's not a it's not a late board, <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, penny board nah that's nah it's like a it's like a trick board but it's like a long board though too I'm, a penny board's different I know how to ride a penny board too though um, mm-hmm. a penny board is really small though so you have to kind of ride goofy and goofy is you, when you ride like in a in a like a backwards L type of shape so like when yeah. when, when like your right foot is is facing forward and your left foot is facing to the side that's what I do to skate anyways, though. So that's just kind of how I, I taught myself how to skate. Because, like, I'll, I'll turn myself over, too. Like, I'll, I'll put my foot back into where I need to be. But, like, mm-hmm. it's just really easy to, like, switch and maneuver. So that's just what I do. Yeah. But when getting to here, though, it's flat as fuck. So that's just a workout, bro. That's just a workout. There's, like, no reward, too. Yeah. Like, there's no hill. There's nothing coming pause <laughs> but like <laughs> oh my god bro <laughs> but like for real though there's no there i i get no speed 
Like, it's all me pushing with my legs. So why the fuck would I do it? Like, why the fuck would I? So I just have this longboard now. I'm looking at it right now. So I just have this longboard now. It has a dolphin on it. A little dolphin tail. It's pretty fire. But I have nowhere to take it. Yeah. I'll... So. But it, it was. But back in the day, though, I used to be going around everywhere in that shit. I got a I bike, bro. And a car. And you, I, I used to bike. This was before I had a car, though, too. But, like, I had a bike. But um, BJ had a. He had a, a skateboard. Or a longboard. So I'm not going to be the bitch with a bike and just, like, zoom past him. And I don't want to bike slow. Because that's just going to be shitty for me, then. So, yeah. So I just, like, fuck it. <laughs> I have to skate, then. I have to skate. So me and him used to skate, like, 12 miles in a night. Like, crazy type shit. All fucking around on our longboards. Which is, I don't know, man. It It was fun. It was really fun. We used to just explore the city. Mm-hmm. So, and and you you know where I used to live before. I used to live on a hill. Yeah. There was no escaping that hill. Oh no! Yeah, you couldn't ever slow down. Yeah, because I live I live up the hill, but then you go you go down the hill, and then either way you have to leave that place. You have to go up another hill. So there was really no escaping it. So that's why I was like, I I, I like the longboard then. But now it's just like, what the fuck am I going to do? The biggest incline I have is my driveway. Hell yeah. That's sad. I don't even have a big as an incline as your driveway. Yeah, mine does have kind of a big incline. Because you're, yours is down a hill, up a mini hill. So. Yeah. It's It's different. But mine just in a flat area. So I was just like, damn. And there's no public transport too. So I was like, fuck, I, I need to get a car now. Thank God I did. Yeah, bro. I stopped trying to longboard after. <clears throat> I, don't, I fell off, bro. I'm going to mobile. Yeah, I've done some. I, I've fallen off my longboard some crazy ass times. And my bike too, like. One time, uh, I was biking home. I must have been like 12, maybe 13. I don't know if I was in middle school or not. But I was linking with these shorties. And there was like six of them. It was six on one. I was the only dude. Mm-hmm. And they were like, let's go over to this one girl's house. So I'm like, all right, let me slide too, thinking I can go. But nah, I'm the, I'm the only dude though, so I can't go. So they're like, you could, you could leave. Like, you could stay out here. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Like these girls, these girls are petty as hell. I don't know if it's like, like the parent shit. Like I'm not, I'm not running like a reverse train. Like I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. And I'm 12. First of all, this is different times. Back, back in the day when people used to not fuck at 12. Crazily oh, enough. Yeah. Crazily enough. <laughs> but I was like biking home and like. It started to rain and shit. It started to rain. But I was still two miles from my crib. I'm whipping that shit. I'm whipping that shit because I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm whipping this, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know if I go around a corner or something, but it, I low-key hydroplane that bitch. <laughs> no kizzy. Because, like, I flipped, bro, I flipped <laughs> over the fucking handlebars, and, like, I, I, I did a whole flip. Like, my bike went over my head, too. Like, I did... I did. I did it bro, all. Bro, that should whole, be the worst shit ever, bro. I did you a whole circle. I, nah, like flipping. Nah, flipping over your handlebars is the worst part of falling over your bike. Not like mm-hmm. tripping over the sides or shit like that. Going over your handlebars is the worst. <laughs> is the fucking worst. I'm on a road too. Like I'm not biking in the grass. I'm not biking on the fucking uh sidewalk. I'm in the road. I'm in the road, bro. Hell yeah. So I flip over, bro, and it's still raining. Ah, bro, my shit hurt. I hit my my hip, like my hip on the on the concrete or on the asphalt, whatever the fuck the roads made out of. And yeah. I had a mark. I had a mark, sort of God, for like a year. I'm not, I'm not even lying to you. For like a year, maybe even longer. Bro, bro I got shit from when I was younger that I still got on my legs and shit. I don't know if I dislocated my hip 
or what the fuck I did. Because that mark, it was like a bruise. Like, that bruise was still fuck. it was still there. I just did, I didn't do, like, didn't do anything about it. But when I flipped over, like, some dude, like, some dad just, like, stopped and picked me up and brought me home. Shout out to him. Because I got my oh, really? shit, fu- I got my shit fucked up. But I could have got kidnapped and everything, bro. I could have got kidnapped. No kizzy. But I looked at the vehicle. I looked at the vehicle. And he was driving a minivan. He was driving a minivan. And I could see fucking car seats in the back. So I was like, okay, this is a dad. Yeah. So I was like, all right, let me let me trust his dad for the one time. And I didn't get, yeah, for I didn't real. get kidnapped. You know he's a dad. I didn't get kidnapped. So here I am. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Was, yeah shout out to him though like for real he brought me like two miles home he didn't have to do that he could just kept on driving and shit but that's that minnesota nice that's that minnesota nice bro, it's minnesota nice. <laughs> that's that minnesota nice bro came in clutch like for real but nah that shit yeah. hurt bro like that mark for real was there for so long so be careful kids don't, don't be doing the stupid shit that I do. Yo, don't bro. Be other people's Loki, cars. Loki gotta watch the Timberwolves game soon. Okay, so, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. We can end this shit off. Yeah. So, what you want to so, end it off with? Um, we end this shit now. To be honest. All right. Um. So thank y'all for watching. I know this is probably gonna yeah. be like a thirty-minute episode, maybe a little bit longer than that, but um. Hopefully next week's episode, the Halloween special, it will be lit enough to compensate. Yeah, we can talk about pretty... some. We should yeah. research some shit that's like some paranormal shit. Yeah, we should talk about some real, some real thinkers, bro. Some real thinkers. Yeah. So stay tuned for that, cause I'm, I'm just, I'm excited even thinking about it. Not gonna lie, cause I think it's gonna be fun. Yes, sir. I think we should bring on a guest for that one too, because I think it'd be really interesting. All right, bet I'm down. I have a week, like we, it, it's a week, so I can probably find someone to be a third host. It'd be dope. Yeah, just let me know. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that, y'all. Um, if y'all haven't subscribed one more time, LTD Entertainment YouTube channel, check us out. Um, LTD Entertainment underscore Instagram, check us out. Go to Reserve, Instagram, check them out. Um, We'll see y'all next Sunday, and peace out.